Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. Today, our topic is actually very exciting because I have in front of me the world's first full range of 450 megabit per second routers and clients. So I have the TrendNet TEW691GR, which is a full gigabit, 450 megabit per second wireless router. I also have the TEW687GA, or gaming adapter. And what this is, is an Ethernet to 450 megabit per second wireless adapter. And then finally, I have the little guy, the TEW684UB, which is a USB to 450 megabit per second adapter that is just adorable. So let's start with the router itself. It has, like I said before, full support for 450 megabit per second wireless signals. It uses gigabit ethernet, so you've got a four port gigabit switch on the back. You've also got your WAN port. You can turn on and off the wireless, which is very convenient, especially if you are super concerned about security. Maybe you want to turn off your wireless while you're not at home so nobody hacks into it. This is especially a concern with more powerful and with longer range wireless networks. And what 450 megabit per second allows you to do is get the best speed and the best coverage. So, wow, look, the whole stand came with it. Look at that. So I want you guys to check this out. The graph on the front, we can see what TrendNet is indicating as what gives you the most speed and the most coverage. So wireless end starts at 150 megabit per second. For a long time, the high speed wireless end was 300 megabit per second and finally now we have 450 megabit per second so not all wireless n is created equal with this guy you can build a network that is literally three times faster than the most basic wireless n devices out there now when the 691gr was released i remember kind of looking at it skeptically going well what's the point because there's no 450 megabit per second clients. So TrendNet followed up with the release of the 687GA. The 687GA is called a gaming adapter, but it's actually good for a lot of things other than gaming. In fact, you can use it to connect anything with an ethernet port to your 450 megabit per second wireless connection. So this is a gigabit ethernet port here in the back, not 1000, which means you're not gonna be bottlenecked by that. And then the wireless antenna and all of the other equipment is actually built in inside here. So because the way this works is not via any sort of driver, you can use it with anything you want. You configure it by ethernet. So you just log into a web interface like you would with a typical router. And then what you do is you just connect it to anything. You can connect it to your console, which is why they call it gaming adapter. You can connect it to your media PC. Anywhere you need wireless coverage, you want a nice fast connection, you use gigabit ethernet to plug it in, and then the wireless is set up using WPS. So all you have to do is press the one touch connection buttons on the router and on the gaming adapter itself. Finally, this guy, the adorable little USB adapter. So this just uses a mini USB connection at the back, and then it also uses, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, it uses USB. So you install the driver on your laptop. This guy works more like any traditional USB wireless adapter would. So you use the cable in order to position it somewhere where you have optimal signal, and there you go. You got a nice, fast wireless connection to maybe it's a bedroom computer that you are having trouble getting a cable run to, well, there you go. Now you've got speeds that are, in theory, about half as fast as even a gigabit wired connection. Although, it's not necessarily that simple, and I'll tell you more in a second. Now, wireless has more inherent interference and more overhead than any kind of wired connection. And if you're a regular watcher of the show, you know that I usually recommend gigabit ethernet whenever you can, power line ethernet whenever that works and you can't use gigabit ethernet and then wireless only as a last resort. So the best speeds I was able to achieve even with a full 450 megabit per second connection between the 684UB and the 691GR uh, you'll see in a moment in the clip and the reason that this clip was taken on my iPhone at home was because I couldn't get it working here. There's actually too much interference in our office for me to even use wireless equipment in this room. Coupling that with the wireless microphone that I use, it's impossible to get good data transmission speeds. So at the end of the day, watch the clip and see for yourself. So for the sake of demonstrating the real world applications of a 450 megabit per second wireless connection, here I have my TEW 
684UB. There you go, you can read the name of it there as if there are any other wireless USB adapters that look anything like this one. There's the TrendNet utility showing we are indeed connected at 450 megabit per second. So I'm going to be doing a little practical test here where I am going to take a file, one that is 500 megs in size. In this case, I'm going to take the file 3D Vision 2 and I'm going to copy it to the desktop of my machine. Now, this is very unsophisticated indeed, but I'm going to use a stopwatch in order to find out how long it takes, and we're going to find out the speed that way because the Windows thing is woefully inaccurate. Okay, so I'm going to press this button for paste and that button for start at the same time. There we go. Here goes our stopwatch. There's our timer. There's that timer. Actually, you know what? Just for the sake of... Uh, seeing what Windows has to say for itself about the transfer speed. There we are. So you can see Windows figures it's going at about 16 megs per second, which I actually haven't been able to achieve with wireless before, whether it's my bad luck or whatever else the case may be. So let's go ahead, wait for it, wait for it. Once the file is finished being transferred, I will press stop. So it took 34 seconds to do approximately 500 megs. So yeah, this isn't perfect. But uh, here we go, 500 divided by 34 gives us, oh, okay, so the Windows thing was actually reasonably close. So about 15 megabytes per second in terms of practical real world transfer speeds. Now remember too, that I'm in the same room as my 691GR TrendNet router and uh, I have it in kind of an ideal location. So I'd expect to get anywhere from sort of 70 to 80% of that in a real world scenario, but there you have it. That's an ideal situation for the TrendNet TEW684UB. This is a tiny little thing. You can see it next to a Galaxy S here. Wireless adapter. So in conclusion, my usual recommendation still stands. Use wired whenever possible, but if you must use wireless, this particular family of products isn't a bad bet because it's going to give you decent performance while still really not up there with a wired connection. But, you know, you can't always have things exactly the way you want them. Some houses, for example, wireless works great, but power line shuts off whenever somebody turns on the microwave or turns on the clothes dryer. So you have to find the solution that works for you. Thanks for checking out NCIX Tech Tips and don't forget to subscribe.